Hi everyone. In this short video, I am going to show you how to set up Windows 11 on your PC with or without a Microsoft account. Once your computer starts, you'll see the first set of screen. Choose your country or region. Then select the keyboard layout. And for the second keyboard layout, you can skip. Now you'll reach a screen that says, let's connect you to a network. If your computer skips the screen and jumps straight to the Microsoft login page, it likely means you are connected to the internet through an ethernet cable. Go ahead and unplug the cable, then restart the setup. You should now see the network screen. Now, if you have a Microsoft account, you can connect to the internet and sign in. But if you are someone new to Windows 11 or just want a faster setup, we recommend creating a local account instead. Here's how you can do that. On your keyboard, press Shift plus F10. With that, you'll open a command prompt window. Now type the following command exactly as you see it. O O. For some reason, if your keyboard is not working, make sure with your mouse, you click it here and then type O O B E backslash by pass N R O and then press enter. Now this will restart your system and bring you back to the set of screen again. Now let's just wait for the system to restart. Now you're back again to the Windows 11 setup. Do the same process again. Select region. Select keyboard layout. And then skip the second keyboard. Now here you will have another option which is I don't have internet. Now you will select I don't have internet. And then accept. And that's how you can create a local user account. Now enter your name. And for the password, you can create a password or leave it blank. If you prefer a password list sign in, every time you turn on the computer, you can leave it blank and hit next. Finish the remaining setup, hit next, accept. Now, why do we prefer local account? Uh, actually, local account gives you more privacy and lets you skip signing into Microsoft services. So generally, it's a faster setup uh, compared to with the Microsoft login. This is probably gonna take a few minutes in order for the Windows 11 to process so here you go your windows 11 is ready to go so folks that's pretty much it on how to set up windows 11 if you found this helpful feel free to reach out if you have any questions or need more help thanks for watching